We're in the streets of Port-au-Prince. Massive resistance across Port-au-Prince, across Haiti, against Jovenel Moise. The understanding across Haiti that Jovenel Moise is a puppy. He doesn't serve the people's interests. The Haitian people's demands are very simple. No more U.S. intervention. An operation called Binou through the United Nations continues to occupy Haiti. Shortly we're going to see thousands and thousands upon demonstrators coming up from behind us. All of these signs against Jovenel Moïse, against dictatorship. Even though the conditions right now in Port-au-Prince, things that we would take for granted in the United States, electricity, internet, running water, and of course, number one, food. Avec Jovenel Moïse, un peu le monde a passé grand goût. So this is a popular demonstration. You'll see thousands and thousands of people coming up behind me. It's about to get loud, so so get ready. The momentum in the streets of Port-au-Prince is, is overwhelming. It's an anti-neoliberal, an anti-neocolonialist movement. I think in the West, one of the main things that we need to emphasize, IT passion people. Haiti is not a poor country. Haiti is a country that they've exploited. Haiti's never been forgiven since 1804. So here we see the descendants of Gessaline, of Toussaint, of Shaimai Pirata, of so many revolutionaries who came before. And I think Haiti is so symbolic internationally because we know the Marco Rubios, the Pompeos, the Joe Bidens, they don't care about Haiti. Several demonstrators said to me, if this was Hong Kong, if this was Taiwan, if this was Venezuela, they'd care about us. But because this is a people's movement against the UN, against the UN-US puppet, we see a double standard in the media. So it's important to get this message out.